Yeah. What's good with y'all? Martin Bustos here, and that's right from the Lavender Project. And this is Tony Sager, and I am... I'm a chupacabra. What? I'm a chupacabra. Chupacabra. <laughs> now, <laughs> from that little uh, jokey joke, that is... So I'm going to take this up. That is going to get us into the video today, boys and girls. We're doing the infamous chupacabra. Now, there's been a thing going around circulating through the internet uh, these days, roughly about three to four days now, that there's a chupacabra allegedly found in Texas. Uh, DeWitt County? Yes. Yes, in Texas. And um, we have been looking at these videos very uh, stone-faced, trying to believe everything that they say, trying to figure out what this actually is. And now we're going to present what we think to you. Tony, you want to say anything? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna say that in the video, uh, apparently they found a chupacabra, a uh, really quick lesson for you guys that don't know what that is, basically as the name suggests in Spanish, it is a bloodsucker, uh, it usually likes to kill um, semi-big animals like goats and cows, uh, it likes to drink their blood uh, from the night that they're alive to the next morning when they're all found dead by usually farm workers. Uh, this thing has been hunted for many, many years, and it's become an urban legend as well as a myth, and many subjects in films as well as TV shows. So uh, apparently they found one in Texas about three days ago, and we're going to show you the video of Channel 7 News, and um, you guys tell us what you guys think. We should probably get right to the video first. Um, keep in mind, it does kind of look like a rat, as Martin said, and uh, it also kind of looks like a dog. I personally think it looks like some kind of hybrid species, but you never know. So, um, Almost like the Montauk. Yeah, kind of like the Montauk monster, Could if you guys be. have seen our video about that. So uh, I'm going to show you guys that video right now, and let's get to it. Deep in the backwoods of South Texas, you never know what might be lurking around the corner or in your tree. And he saw this strange animal sitting up here eating corn. In Ratcliffe, a small town in DeWitt County, Residents are certain they found the mythical, despicable chupacabra. And this time, it's alive. Jackie Stock says her husband caught the creature Sunday night. He called me to come and look, and I said, Bubba, that looks like a baby chupacabra. With its hairless back, large claws, countless teeth, and ferocious growl, many would say this animal fits the bill. You know, I hunted coons, you know, 20 years with dogs and all that, and I ain't never seen nothing look like that right there. Parma yes, says one of the big signs it's not a raccoon is its growl. Coon don't make that noise, or a possum. What <laughs> makes that noise? I guess the chupacabra does. I don't know. <laughs> Here in DeWitt County, most people are convinced this is the elusive chupacabra, but what do wildlife experts have to say? The animal in the cage is best I can tell from the view some form of a small canine. Frank Ortigo, a biologist with Texas Parks and Wildlife, says a canine can include a coyote, dog, or even a fox. He says the animal most likely has mange, which has caused it to lose its hair. But as for a chupacabra, well, he thinks otherwise. It's never been proven to be uh, a unique species. It was always something out there that allegedly either cause harm or threaten to cause harm to people or their lifestyle. Chupacabra or not, right now this little guy is staying at the stock household, living off a diet of cat food and corn. At least until someone can find out what it really is. We've never seen anything like that on our place before. In Ratcliffe, I'm Janelle Bluda, KVU News. So hey, uh, we're back. If you heard yelling, my you guys all know my stepdad's a piece of shit and my brothers are... Well, they're both kind of retarded, like I'm not kidding. They're, they have, they're like mentally slow or something. But anyways, so uh, you guys saw the video. Um, what do you guys think? Because, yeah. <laughs> I, I hope you guys think of something that, that, that's pretty cool or whatever. But yeah, uh, Martin, what do, you, what do you think about the video? <laughs> um, well, honestly, looking back over it again, I think Texans are funny. Uh, <laughs> and the way, you know... Everybody is in their own way. I guess they're funny, and those guys really pulled it off for me. But um, <clears throat> the whole uh, chupacabra thing, well, the pictures that they're showing were definitely like, this is a chupacabra, but this is what we're going to make it out to be. Chupacabra? Mm. What we make it out to be. Yeah. It's very, um, 
what's that called? Uh, over exaggerated. Yeah. Exaggerated to the fullest, and what I believe that is is just a giant. I don't know. I, I it looks like a rat, but I can't say it's a rat because, you know, it's just there's a lot of factors in it that are that he or it <laughs> doesn't have to be a rat. So it is definitely looking to be like some type of canine creature. But I wish that they would test it, not, you know, give a whole bunch of media coverage, leave it here for days and days and days, and feed it cat food and dog food. Go test the motherfucker and see what it actually is, you know, because I believe that that is torture and horrible. Even if it was a chupacabra, even if it was a goat sucker, it's still animal cruelty. And I believe that it could definitely well be a chupacabra. That's just me, though. Yeah. And um, that's the good points that you mentioned, uh, because, you know, if you keep it caged like that, and, you know, this thing's wired. I mean, obviously, it's wildlife if you haven't fucking caught it before. If you're going to keep it in a cage and feed it cat food, I mean, for one, if it's a chupacabra, it's definitely a new species. It could be very well some kind of rodent or canine or some kind of hybrid species, but we don't know what its diet is. And if it truly is a chupacabra, it needs blood, apparently. It needs meat. That thing is a carnivore, not a herbivore, omnivore, whatever. I don't know right. the terms. Um, so a carnivore eats meat, herbivores eat vegetables, and we as humans are omnivores. We eat both, right? That's yeah. both? Yeah, okay. So, you know, you need, I think they're going to test the blood, the DNA, all this stuff to see what it is. It probably is very well in some kind of new species. So you need to keep in mind that we don't know what it really eats. We, we still don't know if it's really the chupacabra. It could Correct. be just some totally fucking new species that we just happen to say that, it's, hey, it looks like a chupacabra. Or it might be a species that we don't know of that really is the chupacabra that we've been looking for. Either way... Um, I think that they should definitely take it out of the cage and, um, you know, do something with it. Either let it go, test it and let it go, um, keep it in captivity. I, I don't know if they want to put it in a zoo or anything. We still don't know if the damn thing's dangerous. It's small, but that growl, I don't know, you know. That growl is pretty cool. Not yeah. It, it, uh, who, can, who knows? It can't just tear something apart. I mean, it kills huge animals and it's pretty small. I don't know. I mean, Bruce Lee was a small guy. He tore people apart, so hey. I don't know. <laughs> so, I don't think the Cheaper Cobber knows uh, Kung Fu, but um, yeah, they definitely need to test that. And I just want to show you guys that video because I thought it was cool, and it's really cool that we just found out that apparently they found the Holy Grail a couple days ago, and now they found the Chupacabra. And those are two videos that I definitely need to do anyways. They've been Next on the. This Bigfoot. Yeah, I know, right? So, hopefully, we found a Bigfoot. Uh, ooh, here's a sighting. No. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> anyways, so. <laughs> Fuck you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I do I do have some big feet. You know what's cool? I'm wearing one sock and one not sock. Yeah. I did a half dance. Alright, well now this is veering off of the total subject of the tube account, bruh. Alright. Uh alright, <laughs> so 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 thanks for watching this video. Um this video has been getting lots of hype recently. This video that we actually showed you is off of a channel that has 41 subscribers and the video has 82,000 views. Wait, whoa. Dude, that was like 81,000 a few seconds ago, remember? It got 1,000 views in a couple minutes. Yeah, dude. Damn! So, that, that's kind of another reason why we wanted to do this video, because we know it's going to get out to a lot of people, and we want to get as much feedback from you guys as possible, because our feedback is really just based on... Uh, it's some kind of probably hybrid species, and it very well could be the Chupacabra. Don't know how these guys caught it, but they did. So, I'm Tony Sager of the Lavender Project. I'm Armin Bustos from the Lavender Project. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to be a TLP boss today. Come join our Facebook chat and chat it up with us, guys. Stay sexy, y'all. Peace. Bye.